gentleman from 33. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In committee, as we heard this bill, uh, we heard the argument that it's not FDA approved and it's not safe. I'd, I'd like everyone to turn on the TV tonight and see how many class action lawsuits there are out there for deaths caused by pro products that have been approved by the FDA. FDA. There's nothing that makes, uh, first from a, a principled standpoint, what gives us the right to even consider telling a mother or a family, a person, what, what they can or cannot use? This comes from a plant. This isn't a gateway to medical marijuana or marijuana. It, it's a completely different species of plant. The hemp plant, it, it's completely different. It, by, by nature, it only has under 0.03 THC in it. So this is something completely different. It is not a gateway. That we don't need to wait for the FDP, FDA. The, the only reason we're told to wef, wait for the FDA is these drugs like Epidiolex that we heard in, in committee are going to cost upward of $40,000 per year, possibly, to, for people to buy. When we can buy a similar, almost identical product for, uh, for what we have in our wallets right now, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous to think that we have the right to tell people they can't use a plant that may help them um, and that we have to wait for the FD, FDA, who makes these mistakes all the time. So I think this is a no-brainer, and I would encourage everybody to vote for it.